The drilling machine in the little community of Bogu has reached a depth of 109 meters. And suddenly, inside the drilled hole, something happens. A local television team records the moment for live transmission. Tony Locher, technical manager of Suke, a Swiss public social aid scheme, has continued the drilling after the departure of Mr. Rieder. He takes a first taste. Very good water, indeed. Let's back up two weeks. The diviner from Switzerland was searching for water veins here with his dowsing rod and after a couple of minutes of dowsing identified the place to drill. An independent team of geologists had been hired by Einstein, a Swiss science program, to survey the spot identified by Rieder with scientific methods. With the conclusion, there's no water here. This is not a good place here. Would you be surprised if you found water here? That's a very difficult area. It's very difficult here. The geologists talk in plain language. Reader is in the wrong place here. From the geological point of view, he is a loser. Despite the disbelief of the geologists, Drilling was started at the point Reader had marked. First, Reader supposed the water to be at a depth of 70 meters, but it didn't come. There was considerable disappointment. Nobody but the men from Switzerland still believed in finding the water. I would say we will come across the water at about 115 to 120 meters. And sure enough, at 109 meters, the water came up. Three liters per second. A little less than expected, but more than enough drinking water for the people living there. The water vein ensures the survival of thousands of people. Word of the discovery got around in no time, and every drop that comes from the drilled hole gets siphoned immediately. There is no electricity and no fuel here, so we will almost certainly install a solar pump so that the locals have access to water 24 hours a day. The people of the village and the staff of the Eritrean television team are most curious how Rida could find water here. He has the ability to find water. He has a kind of biocomputer in his head. He was convinced that the water was here. And obviously it is very difficult here. More than a quarter of a million litres of fresh drinking water come up out of this water vein a day. Thanks to Reader's dowsing rod, the biocomputer in his head, and maybe a portion of luck. Picture the circulation of water. In his opinion, water flows in the earth like the blood in our veins. The water veins run from east to west and from north to south, like circles of latitude and meridians. Reader believes in an underground network of water veins which are trapped in hard rock. The water comes from the sea and it loses its salinity in the stone. It's a closed system independent of rainfall. According to Reedy, you have to imagine the water veins as a fine porous system in the stone, which is constantly under pressure. The vein in Eritrea provides three litres per second.